Hey peeps, we are back and we are five, five, five weeks out. <laughs> so this week I'm going to be updating you guys on my progress thus far. We are five weeks out to my first show on October 14th and we're going to be nine weeks out from my second show in Indianapolis on November 11th. So let's do this. So we are going to do a little physique um, update, show you guys what I'm looking like in the morning. So this is how tight I'm getting so far. When we say tight, we mean body fat percentage is dropping, muscle tone is getting um, more defined, getting more cut. So this is me in the morning, no food, so I'm not as full as I usually am. But five weeks out, this is what we're working with. So today I'm doing hamstrings and how I'm gonna kinda set this flow up today is it's the morning right now. I'm gonna be doing fasted cardio on the treadmill so I'll be walking on an uphill incline um, for about 20 minutes. I set it up as high as I can go. I'm at home so my treadmill goes up to 12 and then um, I'll be eating, I'll have my normal breakfast, I'll start doing my check-ins for my clients and updating their goals for the week. And then I'll be going to the gym to do hamstrings. So I'll be doing mostly hamstrings and glutes. Um, and I'll talk to you guys about you know what type of format I do my workout in. But I'll do hamstrings and glutes and I'll do a little bit more cardio to do some sled pushes. So I'll do that today for um, my cardio. And the reason why I break the cardio up is because I get tired and I'm hungry. So sometimes I'll do some fasted cardio which only has like a slight benefit to burn a little bit more extra fat. Um, research shows that it only really works for those that have a lower body fat percentage. So don't be killing yourself out there to do fasted workouts. And do not lift fasted. When you are lifting, you are building muscle, and when you're fasted, you're usually trying to break down fat. So you don't want to go into the gym with no food in your system, especially no protein, and try to build muscle when you're really um, in a state of trying to break things down. But I split them so that I can do the cardio, get it out of the way, it fits my schedule, and then I'll eat, and then I'll go back and I'll I'll do my typical workout and then the rest of my cardio for the day. So I am having typically two sessions of cardio per day when I'm six weeks out except for one day a week just for scheduling and for hunger and because I need to eat around the time that I work out so I have fuel to finish the workout. So that's what that is. So I'm getting ready to answer a common question that I've been getting when I'm on prep and about what am I eating. So I'm eating a lot of the same foods, but there are a lot of things I had to take out because my macros are lower, but there are a lot of things that I've either added in or I use more frequently to make my life a lot more easier while I'm prep because my carbs are lower um, and so is my fat and it typically will keep my sugar down as well because um, when you have macros that are a little bit more restricted, you'll naturally try to um, pick the more filling foods so there'll be a lot of them that won't have sugar in them. So I'm going to show you guys some of the things that are like my must-haves right now. They're things that I do all year round, but when my macros are lower, I have them more frequently. Alright, let's do this. So if you've been watching me, you know I'm eating more rice cauliflower. I've got rice cauliflower recipes. I've got regular a regular cauliflower recipe. It's a macaroni and cheese one that's in my ebook. Um, but I'm buying this one from Costco or I get it from Trader Joe. And I use what I need to fresh and then I freeze them afterwards and then I saute what I need in the pan. Um, so I have them with my egg whites typically almost every morning or at some point in the morning and then I can also put them in, put them in oatmeal to give myself more volume and have less carbs. Next one up, when I have days where my fat is lower, this 99% ground turkey breast from Trader Joe's is clutch because as you can see for four ounces there's only one gram of fat. 
So the days where my fat is lower, my carbs are up, gotta have this. This has been one of my favorite dressings for about four years. Um, on the front, it doesn't say light, it doesn't say low calorie, but check her out. Only 30 calories, one gram of fat, and only four carbs. So I can use a lot of this to put on my chicken. You can use it as a marinade or on salads like I typically do, and I love it. Next. This one I just started using a few weeks ago. This is the MVP, I swear. Yes, I have cream cheese on prep, but this is a whipped Greek cream cheese from Kroger's. It's only 45 calories. Sometimes I only use one tablespoon, but if you use the full two tablespoons, 2.5 grams of fat, only two carbs, and there's protein in it. Doesn't say light, doesn't say diet, doesn't say lower calorie. Check your labels, people. You can have a lot of things you don't think you can. Here is another item I have every single day. These are sugar-free Jellos. You can get them at Target, Walmart, Meyer. They're in the yogurt section, but this is virtually um, zero carbs for this one, and I like to top it with two uh, or three tablespoons of light whipped cream, which is also pretty low in carbs. Two tablespoons, only one gram of fat, and only two grams of carbs. So I can put this together for a five gram protein snack and I keep my whipped cream frozen all the time. So when I put this on top, it's like ice cream. I love ketchup with my um, baked french fries. Sometimes I put it on my eggs. Um, if I do like a, a hash brown type of breakfast scramble, I get the reduced sugar because the regular sugar has five carbs and this only has one. It's a little less sweeter, but I can get away with it. I love it, I love it, love it. Um, favorite coffee right now when I'm not drinking my herbal concentrate tea is Target's Market Pantry's Seasonal Pecan Pie Coffee. It is a light roast, so it's not as much caffeine as the others, um, but I love it, having it almost every day right now. Here is another uh, goodie. I've been eating these Morningstar Garden Veggie Patties for probably for about, I would say 10 years now. This is my favorite brand. I don't really like the ones as much that taste like chicken or a burger. I like the garden one because you get all of the vegetables in it. I love eating these with egg whites. Um, not a vegetarian by any means, but I love eating these because there's only nine carbs in it and 10 grams of protein. And because health, I get extra nutrients in by picking a veggie patty. New love, I've been eating these for the past month. You guys know I love protein ice cream. This sea salt caramel ice cream you can get at Kroger. It actually has these ripples of caramel in them. Sometimes I'll eat the whole bar or I'll only eat one, but the whole thing, 17 carbs. It's less than two slices of bread. So I get fiber in there, I get protein, love it. I've been putting the salted caramel um, syrup in my coffee. I've been putting it in protein pancake mixes. I have also been putting it in my plain or chai um, Herbalife Herbal Concentrate Tea. You guys can check my description box for the link to the site of all my metabolism teas that I love. But I got this one from Kroger. Um, it's really, really good. I like it. Some of these things can be bitter, but I like this one. I have been putting this on my egg whites probably for the last eight weeks at Trader Joe's, $1.99. It's a one-stop shop for your seasoning for eggs because there's sea salt in here, garlic, and you've got poppy seeds. So, you know, a few shakes of this is everything you need um, to season your egg whites. Also great on avocado slices smeared on some toast. Last one is this Sriracha Roasted Garlic Barbecue Sauce. This tastes like um, the sweet and spicy version of Baby Ray's Barbecue Sauce, but way, way less carbs. Two full tablespoons is only 12 carbs. I can get away with one. Um, I think the one for Baby Ray's is like 28 grams of carbs and the sugar is extremely high. So I get this from Trader Joe. It's less than three bucks. It goes a long, long way. Um, I dip a lot of my chicken tenders into that stuff. It is so good. But again, here are some of my favorite staples. You guys have been asking what helps to get me through prep. 
how do I stretch my macros? This is probably only 20% of the goodies that I love. So I'll keep showing you these guys, these items guys, so that you can incorporate them into your healthy lifestyle as well. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna update you um, about my suit, about my eating, and about my workouts. So the suit. My suit is here, it is wonderful, it is amazing. I love Angel Competition bikinis because they really save me. Um, you know, I'm doing all the work I can on my end, but they have amazing customer service and they took care of me and they completely redesigned new bottoms for me. So um, they took care of me. The bottoms are great. Um, there's definitely more coverage on the butt now. And I may have to have um, an inch or two taken out of the bottoms to make them tighter. Um, if my hips get a little bit more narrower, which means more fat is coming off of them. So I may go in about two weeks. Um, when I'm two or three weeks out and get them sized down a little bit and then have them rechecked for the next show because they may have to come down again as well and then get the straps tight in the back. So the suit is A-OK. -okay. We are in that thing. Um, there's nothing that we have to worry about. Um, macros are the same. They're going really well. I get less of that low carb fog on my low carb days and my high carb days are amazing. Um, I've made things like uh, macro friendly apple turnovers, homemade pizza. I have even went and got like Skechuan Asian chicken and white rice. I've had sushi, sushi on my high carb days which who would imagine you would be able to do that but that's what the um, you know, wonderful thing about, you know, flexible dieting is, um, and then on those days I'm lower fat. So they've got to be higher carb, cleaner items with less fat. So, um, I've adjusted to the macros well, and my hunger is not as bad. The first two weeks it was hard. My hunger is better which means my metabolism has gotten slower. So my body has adjusted to consuming less calories per day. This is good and bad because it means my metabolism is getting slower and I won't burn as many calories, but I'm not faced with the on um, set or the constant nagging of being hungry. So I'm eating lots of high volume foods to keep me uh, full. I've really been leaning on those uh, you know, couple carb jello cups because they get me through the sweet cravings because if there's anything that I can choose to have, it's gonna be sweets. Um, but my metabolism has adjusted to the lower amount of food. So the cravings are more mental than anything. Um, so I'm really just pushing through. Right now I see the light at the end of the tunnel so it doesn't seem as bad. Uh, my training style is different. Um, I am starting to drop down the heavier weights on my upper body. So I'm lifting lighter weights and more reps. And now I've done that the same way this week for my bottom half. So, you know, my glutes, my quads, and my hamstrings, I'm not lifting as heavy because now I want to get more cuts in my legs and get more definition and then also burn more fat. So some of the reps I am doing are 20 and 25 and 30 reps for the lower bar part of my body and the upper part I move into 12 to 15 reps but eventually it'll become more pump style which will be like 20 reps per exercise movement once I get two weeks. So we're almost there. We're getting there. Um, I'm really liking my physique um, and I'm also down another like one and a half pounds, almost two pounds, but that scale like just goes up and down, up and down. But I focus on how I physically look and how I'm fitting in my clothes, which are getting extremely loose. So it's getting harder to get, um, you know, get around having clothes that don't fit and not having to buy something every time I need to go somewhere nice to look decent. Um, but I enjoyed giving you guys these updates this week. Um, I want to continue to show you guys more of like my favorite foods and stuff that help get me through this 
dieting phase because now I'm in a diet. This is not lifestyle. Um, but I've enjoyed sharing it with you guys. We've got a few more videos to go before we do the reverse diet series. Um, but I enjoy having you guys for the ride. And thank you for supporting me week after week after week. So I'll see you guys in the next video.